Jurors in the trial of the former state park ranger accused of raping two of his co-workers just wrapped up their first full day of deliberations. Michael Browning says that the sex was consensual. WJZ is live outside circuit court in Towson. Dennis Valera is keeping tabs on the trial for us. Dennis? Denise, deliberations began after five days of testimony among those to testify, both of Browning's accusers, both describing instances they claim Browning raped them. Now, from the beginning, defense has tried to paint both accusers as liars. While describing one of the times she said Michael Browning forced himself on her, his first accuser said on the stand, I remember looking up at the light, thinking, I'm being raped right now. Both accusers detailed three times Browning allegedly raped them on Gunpowder Falls State Park property. Both also described being forced to do sexual acts with each other, saying it was a fantasy for Browning to see two women together. In his case, Assistant State's Attorney Brian Boss described Maryland's largest state park as Browning's sexual playground, and that while most of the sexual relationships with both accusers were consensual, there were clear times consent wasn't given. In court, he played two videos for the jury, a recording of a call in September where police say Browning admitted to raping the first accuser, and police's interview with Browning that happened about eight hours after, where he initially denied having sex with either accuser. When confronted with his rape charges, Browning had a big reaction. Rape? I never raped that girl, he said during the interview. Defending his client, Browning's attorney Gary Bernstein referred to binders full of texts, questioning how both women could accuse Browning of this when they'd say things like, I'm really sad I'm not pleasing you. I need pillow talk, and sending many emojis with sexual connotations. Both of Browning's accusers are now 30 and 25 years old, and both have become Baltimore County police officers. Browning is facing second degree rape, second degree assault, and fourth degree sexual offense charges, 27 counts overall. Jurors will return tomorrow morning at 9 to continue deliberating. Reporting live in Towson, I'm Dennis Valera for WJZ.